In this tutorial, we're going to consider a problem where two objects are connected while moving. Our example. A 900 kilogram car is pulling a 200 kilogram trailer. The car has an applied force of 3000 newtons due to the engine. The friction forces are 1000 newtons for the car and 500 newtons for the trailer. Determine the force on the hitch. So, we always like to start our dynamics problems with a free body diagram. But there are three possibilities for a free body diagram here. Let's consider all three options. First, the trailer. Now in the vertical direction, of course, we have FG and FN. Then, in the horizontal direction, we have the hitch, which is pulling on it, making it move, and let's call that force T, as we're only considering it in tension, much like a rope. And the only other force is the force of friction, which we know to be 500 newtons. Newton's second law would be F net equals MA, with F net being T, minus the force of friction FF equals MA. And so we could get to the point where we have both T and A left over, and we can't go any further. Two unknowns. We're stuck. Let's consider the second free body diagram. That would be the car. So again, vertical FG and FN. And horizontally, we have the applied force of 3,000 newtons, which is given, then we have the trailer pulling back on it. And certainly it's pulling back. If you unhitch the trailer, you'd be going faster, so it's holding you back. Now, what should we call this backwards force? Remember Newton's third law, if the car is pulling on the trailer with a force called T, then, well, the trailer is also pulling back on the car with an equal and opposite force. So we can call it T, the exact same tension as we had in our first free body diagram, in the opposite direction. So, Newton's second law would be F net equals MA. And in this case, the F net has the applied force, the tension in the opposite direction, the force of friction in the opposite direction, and of course the mass of the car in the acceleration. We see that, again, two unknowns, the T and the A, so we can't go any further here. The last free body diagram might not be quite as obvious, but because they're connected, we can consider both the car and the trailer as one system of masses. This system of the connected car and trailer would have the vertical forces for each. Then horizontally, we'd have the applied force, 3,000 newtons, and two frictional forces, the 1,000 newtons on the car and the 500 newtons on the trailer in the opposite direction. And, well, that's it. We don't have to consider the equal and opposite force of the hitch, as that's within the system. So, Newton's second law for the system would be, again, F net equals MA. Now, here's a note that since we're considering the entire system, we have to remember that the mass here is the mass of the entire system. So we can call it MC plus MT, just so that we don't forget that when we're plugging in M. Then the F net, FA, and then we have F friction for the car and F friction for the trailer going in the opposite directions. And if we rearrange for the acceleration, which in this case, the acceleration is the only unknown, so we can rearrange for A and solve for it. And we'll get 1.364 meters per second squared. We won't round too much yet, as we're not at our final answer. So, we've solved for the acceleration of the system. But because everything is connected, it's also the acceleration of the car 
and the trailer. If the car or the trailer accelerated at different rates, then the hitch would be broken. If the hitch holds, then the whole system and everything within the system accelerates at the exact same rate. And now that we have the acceleration of the system, we could solve for the hitch force T using either one of the other free body diagrams. Let's try it using the trailer's free body diagram. So let's just plug in our A for the acceleration and solve for T and we get 773 Newtons. We could stop there, but let's quickly verify our answer. By Newton's third law, the force T on the car had better be equal and opposite. So let's confirm. Using the car's free body diagram, so if we plug in our A and we solve for T, we come up with 772 Newtons, certainly allowable for a little rounding, and it's confirmed. In this tutorial, we considered a system of masses, connected and moving together. Our example was a car pulling a trailer. When facing a connected masses problem, recognize that there are three free body diagrams that can be considered. A free body diagram of either mass, of course, but also a free body diagram of the connected system. Remember that Newton's third law allows us to understand that the force between the objects is the same magnitude, equal and opposite. Using this information, you can solve connected mass problems as if they were just a couple of smaller dynamics problems. Being strategic about which free body diagram gets you to the next step most easily. Again, always start with free body diagram and Fnet equals MA and you're off to a great start.